This video tutorial is brought to you by JimmyR.com, the best of the internet. Okay, with six votes, Kid9Bomber asks, I have a problem. My video files are so big, I can't email it to anyone because of the 20 megabyte limit. So can you make a tutorial about good compression software and or codecs or any other way to do so? So he's saying he's trying to send a large file. But when he tries to email it, the email program like Gmail or Hotmail only allows 20 megabytes for email attachments. There's actually two ways you can send these large files. One is to just search Google, send large files. You send it, and several other pro uh, sites allow you to send up to 100 megabytes or larger. I don't know. Another way is to use free compression software like search download 7Z, 7-zip. Uh, it's a free compression software that allows you to split the large file into multiple smaller files. WinRAR allows you to do it too, so I'll be showing you how to do it with 7-zip and then WinRAR. Here's the large file of my last video. It's 28 megabytes. I'm going to split it into 5 megabyte small files. All I have to do is right click after I installed 7-zip. 7-zip is free and it's pretty small file size. Uh, I add to archive. I'm going to set the compression to normal. Or fastest is fine for a video file because video files are pretty much already compressed. Uh, and I'm going to split it into volumes of 5 megabytes. I just type 5M. And that's it. I click OK. And it's going to compress the file into 5 megabyte chunks. See, when I right click and go to properties for these files, it's going to say they are 5 megabytes each. And then uh, once you email it to the friend, they have to have 7-zip or whatever program you're using. And then they can extract it. And it generates the large file on the desktop. That's it. I can also use WinRAR, and it works exactly the same way. For WinRAR, it's the same thing. I just go to the file. I add to archive. And I split into volumes, in this case 5 MB, I click OK, and it's going to start generating the archives. It's going to separate them by pieces. Uh, then you can upload each of the files at a time, and uh, you can tell your friends to download WinRAR or 7-Zip, whatever you're using, to put, to put the files back together again. Anyways, I appreciate the question, uh, and thanks for listening to this video. This has been a video tutorial by JimmyR.com. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I have many more useful videos. YouTube. <laughs>